In today's video, we're back in the garage and we're going to be filling these gaps in here between the joists. Well, that's the first bit of wood infill made. All screwed together, multiple pieces of wood, but it actually fits perfectly in that gap up there. And obviously, I don't want to put the wood up uh, bare like this without some form of protection on it. So, what I'm using is just some old transmission fluid that I had lying around. Obviously it's oil based so it'll soak into the wood and it'll protect it for the time being until I get the roof on and then I can give it another coat before the insulation goes in. So this is actually the transmission fluid I drained out with a charger a while back when I uh, changed the fluid in the gearbox and put a new filter in. put it on light paint it goes on nice and thick and with it being sort of an oily substance a transmission fluid transmission oil it soaks in and it will certainly protect the wood until such time as I can get the roof on well there's the first one in so as you can see all the gaps are filled it's actually attached it's screwed into the joist there it's got a nail, a screw going through from the opposite side into that one there to, uh, to attach it. And the dark wood or the damp looking wood, that's just the transmission fluid to protect it till I get the roof on. So that's what it should look like when it's all done. And these are the next two bits, just busy sitting on uh, that bit of wood to dry out overnight and uh, and get them put on tomorrow. So it's the next day and these are both dry. So now what we've got to do with these is fit them in there. So let's get on with that. That's those three in. Now I can't put that one in yet because I need to sort out the rest of the roof. And I can't put that one there yet because I need to see what's happening along the top of the window here. But for now, those three are in. I know there's gaps, but I can fill the gaps later on. That's not a problem. The main part was to get the supports in so I can get some sort of roof on. So now, I need to see what's going on with this across the top of the garage because that all looks fairly rotten. So we'll have a dig around in that, see what we can do about that bit. Well, that's the rotten bit of wood off. Came off quite easily, a couple of nails holding it on and then it just pulled right off. So the wood that's left is surprisingly solid. So I just want to bolt them down, protecting, and that can add a strengthening piece to it. Getting there. In case you're wondering what I'm going to uh, put the wood on the top of the walls, what I'm going to secure it with, I'm using this uh, builder's band. That's the uh, part number, if you can see it there. Now apparently it works in exactly the same way as um, a wall plate. Just got to unfold it, cut it to size. Strange thing is though, I also got these to help hold it into the, into the wall. Now it says on the box, they're concrete screws. But when you open it, they're made of metal. Is it just me or was I expecting them to be made of concrete? Because they're concrete screws. But anyway, let's uh, go and see if this works and helps hold all the wood to the top of the wall without it being able to move. These concrete screws are amazing. Watch this. Straight in, no trouble at all. Got to use some more of them. So that's the straps in on the inside. They come down about three blocks on both of them. And it seems to have worked. I can just show you, if I grab hold of that wood, that's me forcing that wood, that's nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. I'll show you what it looks like from outside. Again, they come down about three blocks. So that's that bit held in. All I need to do now is put the same on that side and get that side held in place. Then I can see what I'm doing with adding an extra bit to this for extra strength and so I've got some way of attaching it to the shed here. And that's the two on on the opposite side. So along with those ones that I've got on over there, that's made that beam nice and solid now. Just got to get on with the rest. 
right that's all the supports in so they're all done they're all in so i suppose the next move now is to work out what i'm doing up here to cover it all up and put a roof on obviously fill in the gaps which shouldn't be too difficult well that's it for this one guys if it's your first time here and you haven't seen any of the previous stuff i've done on the garage what i'll do is i'll leave a link up here to uh, the previous video and the playlist for everything i've done on the roof of the garage so far but if you've enjoyed this video give it a like if you've enjoyed seeing this kind of content and you want to see more th more things like this and obviously all the car stuff that i'm doing as well consider subscribing to the channel but for now we'll catch you next time thanks for watching bye bye